If you are new to robot football and you want to watch a mid-size league game, then here's a small introduction. The football game is played by robots like you see behind me. They are robots on wheels, they don't have arms and legs like the robots in the humanoid leagues. The mid-size league is about 80 centimeters high and the specific thing about these robots is that they think individually. There's no central computer that's uh, commanding the entire team. Each robot thinks for himself and they communicate between each other on the Wi-Fi network. So they actually yell at each other. They can yell, I'm free or I want to play the ball or move forward or things like that. There's five players on each team and the field size is 12 meters on 18 meters. A match consists of two halves of 15 minutes with a 10 minute break. During the break, the teams can reprogram their computers and adjust them to the strategy they saw on the field of the other players. Now let's take a closer look at one of these mid-sized robots and see how they work. They play with a real FIFA ball, with a normal FIFA ball. The ball will end up here and they use these hammers to accept the ball. They move up, they take the ball, then the wheels start turning so the ball will stay close to the robot. Now under this we have the wheels, the, the omni wheels that the robot uses to drive around. Let's open this robot up to see what's underneath. So, right here are the Omni wheels that I was talking about. They consist of one big wheel that can drive forward and backward, and the wheel itself consists of very small wheels that can drive at a right angle on the normal driving direction. So when the big wheel turns, it drives like this, when the small wheels turn, it drives like this. But also, the big wheels and the small wheels can turn at the same time, so it can drive at any possible angle. When a robot has the ball, he uses this hammer to kick. It can move forward like this, and then the ball will be played to another player. Now, how does this robot see? It has a camera here, and the camera is pointing upwards towards a convex a mirror. This mirror reflects the entire field, and the image that ends up in the camera is recalculated all the time to know the exact positions of all the other players and the ball on the field. The mirror ends here, so when a high ball comes in, the camera will not see it. And that's why they have a Kinect module, and this module will see how a high ball is coming in and calculate the position of this high ball. What are the rules of robot football in the mid-size league? Well, they try to accept as much as possible the normal FIFA rules of football. At this moment, of course, there are a few exceptions. There's no offside rule here. And the most important rule for the mid-size league is the middle line rule. A robot cannot cross the middle line with the ball. You have to pass across the middle line. Other specific rules. Only one robot per team is allowed in the penalty box and can only stay there for a few seconds. Only acceptance, of course, is the goalkeeper. Also, when there's a scramble, when there's different players putting pressure on the ball, only one robot per team can put pressure on the ball. Things to appreciate in the mid-size league are the passing system. The teams are putting more and more effort in using the entire space of the field. In previous years, we saw a robot accept the ball and run all the way to the goal to try a goal shot. This is not done anymore. We're trying to move towards a passing game. For the rest, you appreciate it like a normal football game. There's uh, shots at the goal, there's position play and there is strategy. But always bear in mind that these are robots. They're using software and they do illogical things sometimes. When you see a very strange move or, or something illogical or you see a mistake you can try to figure out what the software mistake would be you can look at the eyes of the programmers possibly panicking they can adjust these mistakes during the timeouts and during the halftime period when the match is going on no communication is allowed between the humans their computers and the robots they have to think for themselves so pick a game watch it and enjoy it and that's the